I bet there's something that I can do that you can't do. And that is right around on your yard that you just mowed that did not cost any gas, no electricity. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm actually steering a zero turn mower with one hand. It's kind of scary. <laughs> About got away from me on that hill. Anyways, let's uh let's get into why or how I was able to do this with no gas and no electricity. Well, my riding mower broke down and it was going to cost like $3,000 or more to buy a new one. And I said, if these total electric ones go on sale and gas gets over $5 a gallon, I'm going to buy one because it cost me about $500 a year under current gas prices, $5 a gallon to mow my yard. Anyways... I just unloaded it off the trailer. And uh, we'll see how this does on this yard that's a mess right now because I haven't mowed it in about mm, five weeks because my mower's been down. So we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. It runs on total electric. It's got four 100 amp hour batteries. This is my camper van that has a solar system on it with a regulator and a 300 amp hour battery. And I'm going to use the van to try to charge the mower. And then that means I have zero cost, no gas, no electric, no other cost. So this was about the same price as what a gas mower was going to cost me since it was on sale. The gas mower was 3500 this one's 3799 normally when i mow my yard with gas it, with current prices five dollars and eight cents a gallon for me to finish mowing my yard with gas the rest of this year based off of what my old gas mower used it would cost me almost 500 dollars in gas so you look at that subtract that from the price that makes this obviously the better deal so let's see if we can make this work I've actually got to turn on the uh, DC to AC converter, inverter I meant. Now the AC inverter's on. Get it plugged in. Now that's plugged in, should be able to now take this over. This is just my test. If this actually works the way I think it's going to work, I'll actually keep the inverter here inside. I got a green light down here on this showing that it is lit up. Flip up for the charging port, plug it in, gonna let this charge and see what happens. And to show you the lawnmower inverter is on, and to show you that the mower is receiving charge. So yeah. I'll take this out and test it in a little bit and uh, show you how well it mows. My yard is a mess. It's not been mowed for like five or six weeks. The weeds are literally waist high. So I'm kind of curious how this does. So anyways, I'm going to unplug this charger and we're going to see how well this does. I'm going to be honest with you. I had never driven a zero turn mower ever in my life until I had to load it up 
on my trailer by myself using ATV ramps that have great big huge slot holes in it. Right here is like a little storage area. It's got a cup holder. Um, another storage area. A USB charge port. It's only a one amp though. They kind of skimped on that. Uh, it's got a battery indicator. Low speed cut. Low speed drive. Headlights. On off. Engages your blades. I need to get rid of these um, labels that are on here. I'll be right back. Want to go ahead and discuss these labels real quick. And lay these right here. Show you what this is. One of them is 24 month financing. Let me tell you something about being self sufficient. You don't finance anything, you pay cash for it. Done deal. People get caught up in these credit cards and stuff like that. And yeah, it says, you know, 0% interest. You pay it off in 24 months. And then you get hit with a massive fee on your 25th month. Don't do it. Nobody ever pays them off within the time period, they say. Same way with credit cards. If you got credit cards, which I do have credit cards, I just pay them off every month. There's no sense in ever paying interest on anything. Now, I know not everybody can do that, but that's really what your goal in life should be. Never have to finance anything. Next thing. This right here is the documentation. There was some confusion when I went in there because I said, are you sure that's the 100 amp hour model? Because um, the guy kept saying, no, it's only 75 amp hours. This is the tag that actually come off of this mower. You can see the model number there. It says 100 amp hours. Specifications, battery, powered by four brushless motors, automatic transmission, stamp deck, seat back height, up to three acres runtime, 12 cutting heights, obstacles, three year manufacturer's warranty, $37.99 plus tax. Originally it was $44.99. There's the barcode. You can buy a three year protection extended warranty on it for $349. I did not do that. Now, when I was reviewing these online, a lot of the people talked about the batteries going bad in them. If the batteries go bad, I'll just buy new lithium batteries. These do not have lithium batteries in them. If they ever go bad, I'll put lithium batteries in it. Don't care what they cost. They last 10 years. Then there's other people that say that they've had theirs for three years and never had an issue one with it. So scan with your camera to learn more about this tractor. There's that if you want to take advantage of it. The Home Depot SKU. Features, 48 volt power and four brushless motors for quiet cutting, superior performance. Low maintenance, no gas belts, filters, or spark plugs. And if you got a solar system like I do with the battery, you also don't have to pay for the electricity it takes to charge batteries. One charge offers up to three acres of runtime. We're going to test that out. 42 inch, 12 gauge heavy duty steel deck. And you can also get a 42 inch two bin soft bagger. I did not have this. They weren't in the stores. I'm going to have to order it online. I will get one because most of my compost comes from the yard that I mow. The other thing that it had was California Prop 65. And uh, Roy Obie's registered trademark information. I don't care about either of those. All I care about is... This is going to get out there and mow my yard that is nearly waist high. I'm getting ready to show you. Now I'm going to tell you that this grass is probably pretty typical of all of the grass in my yard. Except for where I mowed with a hand mower. And I'll link to that video above. If you don't want to spend $4,000 with tax on a riding mower, you can do it by hand. And I mowed quite a bit of my yard. Let me show you that real quick. All of this up here was mowed with a hand mower. I would just do a little bit each day just to keep the areas that I mostly walk in cut down. Also the B apiary. But now let me show you how tall this grass is. The backyard is actually worse because I haven't done anything in it all year.
Right here is the tips of this. Above my waist. The whole entire yard's that way. Let's go over here and look. It's not near as tall, but it's still pretty dang tall. <laughs> I'm gonna set this right here. We'll walk over and look. Hopefully you can see me. This grass is this tall, waist tall. I can't tell if I'm in that frame or not. Like I said, the backyard's even worse. Let's just get this mower going to see what it can do. First thing you gotta do, sit down, move, it, move these in toward your feet then you got to release the parking brake put the key in turn it on and uh, once you do that you're ready to go it shows I have a hundred percent battery now this does take some getting used to I'm not going to joke and if you have used these before maybe it don't take you that long but it took me a minute to figure this out all right, so the next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pull this up. First thing I realized is I got the deck set all the way up. I don't want the deck all the way up. I probably want it. I'm gonna actually do this a little bit high. I'm gonna start at, looks like three inches first. got most of the yard done there are some places where i've got like some stuff sitting out in the yard that i can't really do anything with right now like the atv and the ride mower are both broke down right now they're up there i need to move that garden stuff in order to get over there and i got a bunch of fence where i'm actually working on the garden completely tore out all my raised beds i basically threw everything over the fence so i've got old chicken wire out here I've got old raised bed lumber, more chicken wire, all of my drip irrigation line laying out here and stuff. But I got most of the back. You know, you could say I'm 90% done with the yard. And I had to go pretty slow and I got the deck set pretty high. And I can't complain one bit about how well this mode i also noticed that the camera kicked off while i was recording while i was mowing i didn't know it kicked off so i don't know how much we actually caught the only part of the yard i didn't get done you can see i got this washout thing right here so from this up to where those irises are at is all i didn't get done and there's a little bit over by the jeep where i got the jeep and the trailer parked at right now didn't get done <clears throat> now what i'm a little concerned about is i was only mowing for an hour and it said i only had 25 percent power left let's turn it on to see now it says 40 but when i parked up here it said 25 percent so that's the whole reason why i come back it was beeping I guess it has like a low battery beep and I come up here and decided to park this and let it charge up so let it I'm gonna let it charge up I'm gonna see how long that takes it is 6 p.m. right now and I'll bring you back when this is charged up this is with it charging from either 25 or 40 percent 
basically it's showing I got four watts being drained from my solar battery which is 300 amp hours showing that my start battery is 12.8 volts the house battery is 13.2 this one down here actually shows the house battery is 14.2 I actually think I've got some sort of a bad crimp or something on this end up here because it has always been wrong but this isn't too bad um, basically this mower is costing me nothing and now you can see that I'm charging but I actually have the charger inside the van now I don't have the door closed all the way I didn't want to put too much pressure on this cable you can kind of see that it's not closed all the way here but I mean it's it's doing good enough just barely got it in there I kind of like looked, seen where, I thought it wouldn't rub the least. Sucked the cable in there and just gave it until it clicks. Now I probably could go a little bit farther. I might even actually be able to just shut it all the way, but I ain't going to try it. I don't want to mess the cable up. I'm sure that thing costs $4,200 or something. I really don't know. Just wanted to show you how this going now. So basically I'm going to let this charge just like this all night. Hopefully when I get up. It says nothing that is fully charged. I did go ahead and finish mowing the yard. Didn't record any of it because I just wanted to get it done. I also got the front done. I didn't get the sides done. I still got a lot of cleaning up to do, but just wanted to give you an update.